today we're gonna draw our favorite dogs, the pugs. Big squishy face like this. So today we are going to be able to draw, we have the privilege of drawing the cutest thing that possibly exists on this dear planet. A pug. That's right. A pug may be the cutest thing in existence. Hey Brady, you've got a dog. I know, pugs are cuter. Hey Brady, like, what about you? You're like, your kids. You're like, cool, very cute. However, pugs, cuter. All right, how do we draw a pug? Like with many things that Brady draws, start with a circle, all right? So we're gonna start with a circle, but then we're gonna shave it. Right? So we're gonna shave that top part of that circle off to just a little, little, little haircut, right? So if you've got a circle here, don't go all the way, just kind of go, right? There we go. That's a pug cut. We're gonna shave that guy off a little bit. And then we're gonna do like we have done in the past with our how to draw dog faces. And there's a whole video on how to draw dog faces. We're gonna just throw a square, a rectangular, a rectangulozoid up in here. All right. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You can play around. I encourage you to play around with what this thing could look like. It can be a little taller. It could be squattier, you know. Uh, then we're going to do a little pug nose. Pug noses are kind of this shape, right? So we kind of do, you know, other dogs have much rounder noses. Pugs kind of have a little bit like this little bean, a little bitty hoodad right there. So bean plus hoodad. Bean, who dead, right? Good deal. All right, other super important thing when drawing pugs is they have these giant bulbous eyes. So I draw like wherever my rectangular gone is, I just put my eyes right on the edge, All right? So these are just good round big old eyes uh, for your Pugginess. All right, so now we're going to draw the pug's mouth. So go from the nose, and kind of just bring her on down inside that inside that box. All right, and then once we get down to the the edge here, we're going to throw one of these guys. And this looks like you're frowning. You're frowning, sad pug. No, not sad pug. Cute pug. All right, and we can draw smiley faces and things like that, but right now we're just trying to focus on getting that face shape down. All right, cool. So with we have a good like muzzle shape, and so then we're going to throw in some of the wrinkles. I'd go one, add one up in here, add one here, and we just kind of bring these kind of like these teardrop shapes up into meeting the muzzle line. All right, and then we're gonna draw this guy. So this is just a little bit above the nose and coming in, all right? The, not touching the eye yet. And then from the eye, we're gonna go kind of do this big, this eyebrow crease, all right? And then from here, we're gonna do this shape, all right? And then we're gonna do a few more of these guys. And, you know, he looks angry, but he's really, you know, it's a pug. They're not angry, they just kinda of look, they kinda of look like that. All right, so we're gonna have a big solid shine in the eye here. Color this homie on in. You know, if I had more time, I would color, color that in. You want a big, solid, black eye full of shininess. You can even do a double shine, which is very advanced. It's just two circles. And, oh man, looking good. All right, and so then we're gonna throw a little whisker guys up in here where you can even throw another line of detail here. Uh, even a little, little, little blip there as well, okay. Now we've got the ears, so the ears just come straight out from straight out from the circle, kind of come down, right? So straight out here. 
like that. Straight out. And you kind of just get a little ear in here. And then now you add just a little piece of that pug up in the top here. You know, and then you can even add a wrinkle around the ear. And uh, then the last important move is to kind of shade this muzzle in. Okay, if you've got, you can do it with a pencil, you can do it. And also, this guy, yeah, a lot of, so this, you want the, your eye to be very black so that you can add this kind of shading around the, the pug's eye so that it looks more puggity. All right, I'm not sure that that's exactly a word, but it should be when speaking of pugs. So to give you an idea, we'll just color this in super fast with like a, a marker and give you kind of the, what that shading will look like. The shading is really important because that kind of marking is very puggity. Uh, and we want to let everybody know, hey, I'm drawing a pug. Not just a normal old bulldog, I'm drawing a pug. Oh man. Pug nose. All right, good. Uh, also, get up in there on these ears. So, so your move pugging is we want to kind of draw the, the same kind of shade on the ears, around on the eyes here, and then also on the pug's mouth. And we have the very beginnings of a very cute little pug dog. Possibly one of the most dangerously cute animals on the planet. All right, good. Uh, and then what I would do now is I would throw a little bit of, you know, they're not long haired dogs, but dogs love having a little bit of, or drawings like having a little bit of, a little, little bit of difference, a little bit of things in here. Uh, so we want to give a little bit of variation in on all this stuff. All right. And then we have ourselves pretty cute little, little pug dog. <laughs> Almost forgot the, you know, th this little like kind of creasy move here with the, your pug is also very pug-like is to kind of give, go with the pug nose here and then just kind of just throw a line down. Uh, all right. And then we go, I would go in with my inking and kind of give more little little pizzazzles, you know, like darkening in these uh, folds and whatnot and giving, even like with the folds, kind of giving them little bits of, of, of hair and little bitty tufts of, of fun and love uh, to make them fun. All right, good. We, All right, so we've got our pug here. And now what you want to do for me is to say, where can this pug's imagination go or your imagination go with this pug? So, you know, like, you got cool, you know, oh uh, yeah, you know, like, this pug's got cool necklaces. You know who Mr. T is? You should, because this guy's gonna have like this cool Mr. T mohawk, you know, you can dress up your pug Man, I think I might just really draw a Mr. T pug because it's kind of awesome. Uh, so the, yeah, look at Mr. T or ask your parents about Mr. T because that dude, I pity the fool who don't know who Mr. T is. They, uh, so these are gold chains and it's quite, quite awesome. Anyway, this is a guy who I grew up with. I mean, not personally with, but I grew up watching a lot of Mr. T, you know. And so then you decorate your pug. Let's do another one. For practice, because practice makes us better than we were before. Pug. Face. Give me a circle. Circle. Give me a pug shave. Pug shave. There we go. Give me a little pug shave off that circle. All right. Let's erase that guy. And give me a little bit of a 
kind of a square up in here. And that square looks about like that. Pug nose, remember, pug nose, beep, you know, right? Kind of like different, a little, little squattier than a normal nose. Well, I mean, I don't know exactly what a normal nose looks like. A normal dog nose, kind of like your generic dog nose. All right, and then we're gonna take the pug nose, shave it down here, shave it down here. All right, gonna go on down. Doot, doot. And then come back up to give the delightful puggity face. There we go. And uh, pugs also have that solid kind of split in their lip. I'm gonna do some whisker ears. All right, now I'm gonna throw a good eye in on this. Your eyes, basic big old eyes, just barely at the edge of these corners or just clip inside just a, a wee shui. Uh, we're gonna do the very rare triple glisten. What? You can't do a triple glisten? I can. I'm a professional. Let me let me show you. No, you can't do a triple glisten. You're not prepared. And like, oh no. It's amazing he's gone too far. So you can throw a triple glisten in. Just to say, my dog has the shiniest eyes that any dog has ever shined ever before. All right, and then I'm gonna shine these guys in here. Do, 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 do. All right, good. Oh my gosh, that dog looks like the shiniest eyed dog that's ever been. Okay, uh, what do we do for ears? We just kind of come out. Meow. Meow. And then we give the just a little bit of a little bump up in here for some for his head. Okay. Uh, now we throw in some wrinkles to say, "Hey, I'm a pug." Throw in this kind of top wrinkle, just a little bit over the nose that goes right into to the eye. You can throw a wrinkle down in here. Throw a wrinkle down in here. A good, cute wrinkle over the eye, like this, and throw this guy who just kind of connects, give a little triangle right in there, and then we can kind of, you know, and then you can even extend these over into the, to the top of his head as well. All right, whoo, the fast little pug came together. So let's erase this, erase our lines, and then we want to know what do you want to do with this pug? Because one, hey, congratulations, you're an excellent pug drawer. Uh, but what, are we, what can we? What else can we do with these pugs? Like, oh, well, first, we need to shade in kind of his muzzle. It's just kind of a, a black color. His ears as well, and then you can also do some patches around the eyes, but I'm not going to right now. And then, what does this pug like to do? Where does he like to work? Maybe this pug is like, hey, I'm a party hat pug. I'm going to a birthday party. And you're like, oh, that sounds like fun. You know, it's like, I hope that you've brought your presents. And you're like, I did, I brought a present. I've got like, I brought my, I got my tie on. It's like, oh, your tie looks like a bone. It's like, well, it's cool, it's because I'm a dog and that's kind of my scene. And you're like, oh, I've got my, my bone tie, you know, and it's gonna have kind of a, it's a formal birthday party. His pugs are very formal, you know, and they're, and, uh, but maybe he also has, you know, um, what, like maybe a flower crown, you know, because this birthday party is taking place at a, uh, an indie music festival. And so the, the fact that you're wearing a birthday hat and a flower crown, and then from your ears hang glow sticks because it's like, what? This is a this is a swinging party. What this is about? You know, we got glow sticks hanging off our ears, and you know, dress your pug up because pugs don't like just to be like having a a normal day. They want fanciness. Um, 
What I'm doing here as well is kind of giving, when you give, do this to the eyes, kind of makes them a little, gives them a little cuteness and kind of makes them look a little bit smiley, you know, and then, oh yeah, this pug is ready to party with the power, with its party hat, how to draw party hats, and these kind of things are in my art box. Uh, so check out the playlist on Artbox. I'm trying to equip you with other tools to be able to uh, draw and enhance your uh, your drawings, to draw from your own imagination and kind of make it more fun. Uh, then also the rest of the videos I have about how to draw a dog's faces, how to draw a dog sitting, walking, standing, uh, all this kind of stuff, and even dog houses and how to kind of just make a whole scene with uh, your dogs. So anyway, I hope you have fun. I hope you learned something. Please give me a thumbs up, uh, give me a subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.